Hey, this is Kurt from Hard Mode Gaming, and I'm here with Ivan, and we're playing Wildlands, the new Ghost Recon game. Ivan, you got a chance to play a real lot of this, right? Yes. Uh, how far did you get? I'm only 52% done. So does it tell you that, unlike the track or anything, how much you did? Is it one of those kind of games that yes, gives you the exact amount? Yes, it keeps it tracked, yes. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about the game. What do you do in Ghost Recon Wildlands? Uh, basically, you shoot people, uh, and yeah, that's about it. You're telling me something about like the structure of the cartels, like you have to go after certain basically, people? Basically, in this game, you could do how whatever it pleases you. If you want, you could tackle the, uh, the security right away, which I think that's the best option to do at first. <laughs> Fuck, I just crashed. Oh, and the visual effects on the driving, like damage-wise, is fucking realistic. Well, sort of. I'm seeing a car smashed up here in some of the footage. Oh, shit, that's where I do have to go. I forgot what fucking mission it is. It's been a while. You were telling me you've had a lot before I started recording. I should have started recording earlier, huh? Yeah, no shit, because uh, I wasn't nervous. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Tell me what, like, you so, can uh, do to improve your gear. Like, do you level up weapons, or do you level up the drone guns? In order to do that, you got to find resources to help the rebels. And once you have a good amount, it tells you how to level up. And then you got these skill points to level up. Each one takes one bar. In the beginning, is one skill point, and then on the second level, it takes two or three, depending what it is, until you get to the last one. It, it tells you you need four skill points and 5,000 um, uh, fuel experience points. So this game is an open world, right? Yes. Uh, how how has the map been? Because I know you play, you've been to a lot of the locations. Uh, graphically, it's epic. It's on point. The sound of the weapons is accurate to the weapon that you're using. Believe it or not, even if you got a silencer on your weapon, the enemies could still hear you. I like that then. That's actually realistic because silencers don't really do silence. That. No. Yeah, yeah, they don't do that flip noise like you see in the movie. Uh, yeah, no. If you see, see, I got 50 experience points for medication because you're tagging everything you see. It shows up on the mini map. So basically, you just walk around, and when you tag stuff, you can that yeah. gives you the experience. Basically, I'm supposed to interrogate this fucking asshole right now, but the thing is, I don't want him to see me. Or you could run into him, and you have to hit square, I believe. But he can see you. For now, but he's a dick. So you he, just punch him in the face. Shit. Oh shit. No, no, that's fine. He just hides like a bitch, though. <laughs> In these games, do you think there's enough to do in the big sandbox of the world? Oh, there's plenty of things to do. If you want, you don't have to do the story mode. You could just do all the side quests that pops up. Or you could do the story mode. What I do is I try to achieve everything at first, so I don't have to go back to the map. There are like, like the convoys that say like gas, the like a gas convoy or a medic convoy. Those reappear all the time, so it don't matter how many times you do it. That's how you, you can farm. Basically, until they actually patch up this game, you could actually farm the stuff multiple times. So you could, and to save the time, instead of doing every little fucking thing, you could farm it faster and get upgrade your character and everything right away. I found out through that through YouTube because I was getting sick of doing the same shit after a while. <laughs> but the way that someone showed it, his method wasn't working for me, and I said, fuck it, I'm just doing it the way I did it before. So it gives you a lot of activities to do across the whole map, then. Yes. Uh, it sounds like you wouldn't get bored if you like doing stuff, plot-wise. Plot did you like it? Is there a lot going for it? Is it on, kind of on the side? Uh, I would say it would take you about a day to two days the most to beat this game right away without doing all the extra shit, or... Or you could t do it the way I'm doing right now, looking through everything, being like stealth mode and what whatnot, and just enjoy the game. That's how I like to do it. I don't like to rush the game. It plus, like plus I own the game, so I don't really want to rush it. Back then, I used to rush every game and return the goddamn game back to GameStop and within two days. Everyone loves the GameStop rental. <laughs> so did, did you see this? This is a lot of ground to cover right now. Even the that mountain way in the distance? Yes, you could go over there. <laughs> you, I'm telling you, you could go anywhere right now. Um, I, you know, the other, only other game I've uh, 
played that does that is Just Cause. Have you ever played Just Cause? Hey, this is a little similar to Just Cause, mechanical wise and everything. But I think this is a little bit more funner. Just Cause, it gets a little like ridiculous. Like it's just stupid fun. Yeah, this just is like cause. more serious fun. <laughs> just Cause. The big thing with that one is, it seems you would just they'd rather have you just hey go blow stuff up. We don't care. Yeah, basically and that's that's, that's that. the game. Yeah, that's it. Where, where's the goddamn motorcycle? But this one does give you more specific things to do. Like yes. you can raid like drug factories, right? Or like the not the factories, more like. The warehouses. The fields yes. and the warehouses. Yes, 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 yes indeed. Do you burn them down? You have to burn the cocaine, which I honestly wouldn't want to do that. In person, my personal experience, I wouldn't do that. But this is a game and you got to do what, it, what the game tells you. So. I don't know, it seems kind of well, like a I, waste. <laughs> for the record, I don't fucking do cocaine, guys. It's just like money-wise, it makes sense. But right now I'm on a dirt bike and it would be nice if I could pop a wheelie down the mountain. You see how the visual graphics is, how the uh, the grass and the trees look? Looks like the graphics are, yeah, they're really good, especially on PS4. But here's the thing, it kind of looks like until, um... Horizon Zero Dawn? There you go, that shit. And basically, you got the main road and you got dirt paths. And look how well they did the rocks and shit. It's epic. You even see the grass flowing. Especially when you have a sniper gun, it comes into effect. They gave you a lot of material to work with here. Yeah, the graphics are pretty stunning. The models look good. Yes, indeed. So, so one of your chief complaints, you said, was that the controls for the vehicles aren't that good? Well, once they improve it, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Right now, I'm getting... In the beginning, I wasn't used to it. It's kind of different, in a way. But it's kind of like a GTA style. The thing world, is, right? Yeah, the only thing is that when you're on a bike, you can't shoot. Like how GTA is, like you can't use a Uzi or anything like that. I suppose that's more realistic because that'd be yeah, really hard. You no know, shit. And if you're right, if you're a right hand, you can't really fucking shoot and drive at the same time. I, what the fuck? You see that shit? What the hell? How I just did th uh, 780 for no apparent reason. That was epic. Oh, is this one of those games where you kind of have to uh, liberate the districts? Like you have to go there, take down things, and yes. you liberate the area? Basically. You got four lieutenants to kill first, and then, well, actually, within two lieutenants, he actually becomes unlocked right away. He's really easy to unlock. But, and how I would play is to kill all the lieutenants, then go with, after him, and then go to the main guy. That actually reminds me of Crackdown. Crackdown, the first one, had you do that? You had to kill all the uh, gang lieutenants first before coming after the Believe big guy. Believe it or not, they, in this one, you don't have to kill everyone, and for the security, you don't have to worry about that. But in production, in order to unlock the underboss, you have to kill all lieutenants in order to get to her. Which, which supposedly, in each guy, every character that you have, they give you things. So most of these guys give you special weapons at the end. That's so, good. So this guy, you get, because it's a, it's a couple, so you get his and hers AK-47s. I never used it and never will, because it's an AK-47, and I'm pretty sure their shit is not good. Because <laughs> certain some of these weapons, you can't do nothing to them. Here are your skills. This is what I was talking about. What you have to build. You see, level the skill point one, fifty, 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 a hundred. What? Uh, in order to be good in this game, you should update some of your weapons, your drone, ba basically everything. But to start off with, you want to do your drone, because you do need to upgrade your battery to the full extent. The range and night vision comes in handy because you do have night uh, nighttime missions. So you can see where they are. Then once you get to level 7, you could actually... The first thing I did when I hit level 7 is put my drone in silent and stealth because they can't hear it at all. So you could be... Unless you're right in front of them being a dickhead, then yeah, they're going to see it. If not, you could tag them. And then noise maker is just like a thing that creates noise in front of them and tell... You see, you can't really see it right now, but it, t it shows you exactly what it does, which everything does for you. Because if you don't do that, it's like a fucking chase. And I've been doing chases, and it gets annoying at times. Because yeah, I, I mean, fucking fall <laughs> off the hill, and then they're too far away, and then you lose it. They put a lot into the drone, I can say. The drone is your best friend, basically. Uh, you were saying something about the DJ in this game on the radio? Oh, in the, in the beginning, it's cool, whatever, because you're getting used to it. Yeah, it's like new to you. 
But after a while, you just want to kill the son of a bitch. Because you have to kill him anyways, but... But so you do get to kill the DJ later on. Oh, yes you do. So if you play... There are a history in video games of DJs being annoying. And in this one, you get to kill him. So that's good news. You can look forward to that. There's only one station and it's all Spanish. So if you're not Spanish, you're going to learn. All right, yeah, I might actually pick this up at some point. This has been Kurt from Hard Mode Gaming, playing with Ivan. And if you want to check out more, try the game. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.